In this video, we're going to look at the big O of a linked list. And I've boiled it down to the three common operations that you do with a linked list. And you can also use these operations to compare it with other data structures. The first is search. There are really three components to a search. What if I want to know the first or last item in the list? Well, if I want to know the first item in the list, all I'm going to do is look at the head node and the head node is going to tell me what that first item is and that would take constant time the mechanics don't matter because they would be the same every time therefore being constant same thing with the end it's going to be constant time to find the end node of a linked list because it's going to find the tail and return whatever is inside of there Lastly is getting an unknown item from the list, meaning what if I wanted the second or the third item in the list? In this case, I want the third item in the list. It's going to be a big O of N, and N refers to the size of the list. So what I would have to do if I'm going to return some unknown node, I would have to first search through the list for the item. So I'd say Apple, no, that's not what I'm going to look for, so I need to refer to the next node. Banana, no, that's not what I'm looking for, so I'm going to refer to the next node. And then finally, hey, I find Cherry. And so that's going to be a big O of N because I have to perform that search in order to find the node. With the first and last node, I know where they are and I can return those items without having to first perform a search. The second operation that we're going to look at is inserting an item into a linked list. And if I insert an item at the front of the list, it is going to take constant time or have a big O of 1. The mechanics do not matter in the sense that I, I don't care what it's doing behind the scenes. I know that it's going to take the same amount of time every time to run this operation. And it doesn't change from situation to situation. Always inserting the first node is going to take the same amount of time, therefore giving me a, a big O of 1 or constant time. Same thing with the end. If I'm going to put something in the end, and I'm going to switch around some references that are pointing to different nodes, and the last node is now going to be the one that I indicate. And it's a little bit different if I want to add an item anywhere in the list. And let's say I just took out that node and I want to put it back. I'm going to add a node between the banana and date nodes in the list. Inserting the item takes constant time, just like inserting at the front or the end. But what takes more time and depends on where you want to put it inside of the list is the search. And so I have to search for a place to put it. No, I don't want to put it there. No, I don't want to put it there. Hey, yes, I do want to put it there. And because I don't know where that spot's going to be, it's going to take a big O of N. And then the last function that we're going to look at, or the last operation that we're going to look at, is how to remove a node from a list. And just like I did in the prior slides, we're going to look at the first item in the list, the last item in the list, and then what if I want to remove any item from the list. So removing the front item or the head has a big O of 1 because no matter the list, it's always going to be the first item and it would take constant time. All that really happens is the previous node is no longer referencing the head node and the head node is changed to the second node in the list, thereby removing the first node from the list. Secondly would be removing an item from the end of the list. It too is going to have a big O of one constant time the operation is going to take the same amount of time no matter what the list is and then finally we're going to remove an item anywhere in the list and what i've done is i've reset the list back to its original size just for ease of use the actual removing of the item is going to take a big o of one or constant time but the problem is i have to find the item first i can't just say i want to remove the third item and then go to that item I would have to traverse the list from the head and get to the spot where it is. And that is going to take me n time because I don't know how long the list is. Given two lists, one list may be long, way, one list may be short. The position that I'm taking it out of is, is not going to be constant. So therefore, it would be a big O of n, n being the size of the list. So we've shown you in this video the three major operations that you would do with a linked list. Search, insert, and remove. We then showed you for each one what it would be for removing the first or the end 
or inserting at the front or the end, or getting from the front or the end. Those all happen to be constant time. And then removing an item somewhere inside a list, and you don't know where that is, adding an item where you're not sure, you're waiting for the user to tell you, or getting an unknown item from the list takes big O of N, because you're going to have to perform a search on the list before you can insert, remove it, or just simply get the results of the search that you ran.